Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well. Well, in my last video, if you remember, we had our Nick Abbott, you know, having to deal with some lunatic who still thinks we're still fighting the Hun and demanding that the French should explain why they can't towel to their Nazis and, uh, and they should bow to their superiors and kiss our British behinds because we're British and every time we grace their presence they should all go Huzzah! Well in this video, Nick Abbott, he um, in effect sort of like talks about um, our part-time parliamentarians who uh, already have 18 weeks holiday a year will be getting an extra day off in cr at Christmas. So sit back and enjoy as our Nick Abbott exposes this fantastic little ruse they are enjoying it, enjoying, should I say, in his own unique little way. You know, um, Smug announced that uh, MPs are going to get another day of the holiday. Jacob Rees-Smog announced that MPs will get an extra day off over the forthcoming Christmas holidays. What? You know, for a good behaviour. The House of Commons has been expected to break for the festive period on uh, December the 16th. Before... Uh, who gets to stop work on December the 16th? Uh, they will be returning on January the 4th, but Smug revealed that um, MPs will now not have to return to work in Westminster till January the 5th. But, fact fans, January the 5th is a Wednesday. And as they don't actually do anything on Friday, and it's half day on Thursdays, that means they'll think, well, why on earth would I come back from the Bahamas or the Seychelles early when I can easily stay through to the end of the week and start bright and early next Monday? Well, maybe... Tuesday morning, first thing. OK, Tuesday afternoon, let's not get carried away. Gotta have some fun, eh, what? Smug said the House will rise for the February recess on Thursday, February the 10th, and return on Monday, the, uh, February the 21st. So after the three weeks Christmas break they get, they're back barely a month, and then it's off for another two weeks. And then they're back, and then it's barely a month before the House will rise for the Easter recess on Thursday, March the 31st, and return on Tuesday, April the 19th. So that's almost three weeks off for Easter. And then a week later, they get back, they get another week off. He said the House will rise for the May Day bank holiday on Thursday, April the 28th, and return on Tuesday, May the 3rd. Followed by three weeks back at work, and then... He said the House will rise for the Whitson recess on Thursday, May the 26th and return on June the 6th. So that's another two weeks holiday. I mean, they're barely back for a month at any point in the year before they, don't, before they take off for another two or three weeks. Smoke said, finally, the House will rise for the summer recess on Thursday, July the 21st. And then it's about seven weeks summer holiday before the part-timers parade starts uh, all over again. It's all work, 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 isn't it? No. 18 weeks holiday, I counted. What? 18 weeks holiday. You believe that? Who gets 18 weeks holiday? And it's 80-odd um, grand a year, plus uh, as, uh, much, uh, as, as many um, expenses as you can uh, stuff into a numbered account. It's about a quarter of a million quid a year that they get in expenses which they, uh, you know, the, the largest chunk of which is for staff, which can be the person that they're married to or are, uh, you know, hanging out with or the one that they want to hang out with. <sighs> Unbelievable. I mean, mind you, if, uh, if this is what we get when they're part-time, imagine the mess that they could have caused if they were full-time employees. Well, how many jobs do you know where you get a... Uh... 18 or oh, did you have where you got 18 weeks a year paid holidays mm. i worked for council for 30 years most i got was five weeks and even then you had to fight nail and tooth to get them <laughs> but you know you working class tories you head off down to the southeast coast god ding you spot and shouting at 
poor, desperate, vulnerable people, you know, just wanting a better life, you know, fleeing persecution and war. <laughs> because you think these type of people are pulling you down. But in actual fact, it's people rocking up in limousines and with these parliamentary, part-time parliamentarians, should I say, you know, pick, picking your pocket and rogering you roughly from behind as well and pointing over to them, uh, you know, them, them, them brown people in them dinghies, you know, they're the ones that are making your life difficult. Not us, but, hey, oh, what do I know? I'm just one of them lefty wokey snowflakey whatever we're called nowadays i have no idea if it's hard to keep track isn't it <laughs> but anyway i shall leave the video here and uh do hope you enjoyed it i thought it was i thought it was brilliant but i do hope you enjoyed it but i shall leave the video here until the next time i shall bid you farewell so um take care